Cute. Name another podcast like this. Ooh. We'll bring it to the table. Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gonna do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it, man. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely. Amazing official, Mr. Maker. What's going on? No, none. You know, my dad walk on. Say, man, look here, man. We got a guy here today, y'all. If y'all just seen that intro, y'all know what time it is. Y'all <laughs> playing, nigga. He here, man. Sly Fly McCartney is in the building. Al Al Cola, Omar Stasky. Hello to all of you that's out there in the TV world and the social medias and all that. We man. on motherfucking boss talk. Man, he here, man. Wow. Get to it. It's great to be here. It's Talk to her. Yes, sir. I need to know about you as a person before mm. this character, because I guarantee you, you probably was always a character as a kid growing <laughs> up. Indeed, indeed. Like, we was always, you know, we grew up in a house, uh, cousins live, sleeping on top of cousins, so we was always cracking jokes and fucking with folks. Mm -hmm. uh, is it okay to curse? Excuse me. Go Why? ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. But yeah, you know, it, it, it was a family thing. We always been fucking crazy. Where are really? you from? Where are you from? Chicago. Chica oh. Chicago. Yes, uh, what yes. part? Uh, a little bit of everywhere. I south ain't gonna side. Lie. South side. We was born on South side, but shit, I, I grew up down south. I went to high school down south. I'm, so I, I feel myself a little bit from everywhere. So wow. let me ask you a question before I even jump into finding out anything. You've been in Dallas multiple times, right? Yes, yes, yes. Have you had Rudy's chicken yet? Did we go to Rudy's? Lucha, did we go to Rudy's yet? No, I, he was telling me about that. That's one spot we ain't get the hit yet. Okay, because I need for you to check that place out. The only reason I'm saying that, because mm -hmm. I had somebody from Chicago come on here and said that um, Harold's chicken is better than Rudy's I, chicken. Hey, listen now. I was just and about to say, is, is it fucking with Harold? Let me tell you. Uh, we going to get Harold's, bro. We, go, we, we got it's to see better this. Than we, you know, I, I put it to the test. <laughs> now, I'm a taste tester. It's better than Harold's. <laughs> okay, okay. She's saying that. Shout out to CC, man. What's going down, man? You hear him? We got another taste tester. In the CC. Indeed. <laughs> Man. So, Chicago. Chicago come with a, um, a notion to say that Chicago is just dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, where you were raised, was it dangerous? Gangs affiliated? All of that sort of stuff in the area that you were living in? Uh, I mean, honestly, yeah. But we, we really didn't... Uh, fall into the cracks of the you know what I'm saying of the of the rust part of the mm. streets you know we was always creative as you can see you right, know we was right. always trying to think outside the box and what could we do with this and we was different type of hustlers you mm. know what I'm saying instead mm. of trying to do other shit we'll be you know trying to build a sell something mm. you know what I'm saying mm. like shit so we weren't really like caught up in the rough shit then I'm old Mm. You know what I'm saying? At that, that too. So I'm, the, the shit that you see that's going on now, that's them young motherfuckers. You know so what I'm saying? So it wasn't going on back then when you was younger? It, it was because we ain't had an internet like that. You know, I'm right. before the net. You right. know what I'm saying? So this shit wasn't done on the net old, like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that old. Come look, on now. It, it look good on the sugar lips. <laughs> <laughs> but but now, like, it was, but you know, it was more G back then. It was, right. you know, it was more respect. I say, like, a lot of respect has been lost, and that's why shit is so wow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you. Mm -hmm. But okay, so when you said we, so you have siblings. I know you're talking about your cousins, but did you have brothers and sisters? Oh, How yes. many y'all? It's what? What is this? My sister, my two brothers. Mm, and and uh, is it another month? It's probably some couple possible motherfuckers out there I don't know about running around. <laughs> but yeah, it was just, I was the oldest. It was my sister and my mm. two little brothers. So you, you know. had to look after them? Yes, indeed. You know. So, and you lived with your mama and daddy or just your mama? Just the OG. You know. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't know who that motherfucker was. So wh where did he go? I don't know. I never met him. It'll be the pleasure. Hey, hey, look, if you listen. Even up to now. If you listening never. now. A DM me, Slap Slap McCartney. I need to meet you. We got some shit to talk about. Where so you what are you gonna say to him? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm just talking. <laughs> yeah. So your mama never told you his name? Uh, it probably did, but you know, like you man, just didn't care. It, yeah, you once you get to a certain age, well, the shit, and that's why I think I'm so much into my kids' life. You know that. This shit didn't matter. You know, See, I became my own grown man. I got yeah. out here and experienced the world for myself, learned how to put two and two together, put my own thing, my own concept of life together on my own, you know? Like, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so fuck them. So growing up as a kid, young kid, before you had children, you didn't feel like you missed a father figure in your life? Or did you have uncles and grandfather and everybody else filling in that gap? I mean, honestly, the way I'm built, I don't, I don't really reflect on negative shit. I don't dwell, you know... And you've and then, always been like this. Always like that. And then he was like an out of sight, out of mind thing. So you weren't even shit to think about from the first place. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it was like, how can I get to the next step of where I'm at in my life right now with what I got going on right now? Like, so I know I don't reflect or dwell on bad shit at all. Like, so 
I, I don't know. I just keep pushing, you know. Growing up as a kid, what did you want to become? Uh, shit. Well, well, of course, everybody wanted to be a rapper or some type of entertainment, you know, so that's crazy that I've become who I am today, right. you know. But, yeah, shit, I, I just wanted to be successful, anything, you know. I, I, uh, I, want, I was into, like, building shit, mm. you know, like. Um, so you were good with your hands. Indeed, you know. But I was, like, into engineering. Like, okay. You know. They make good money now. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Shout out that. Industrial technology, mm -hmm. like construction, building cribs and shit. I like all, all that shit like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. So when did the comedy come in? How old were you and why did you venture off into that industry? It was it was like, it was a blessing. Uh, it was the thing out of nowhere. It, it was one of them things like, like, like bro, like he was saying, like, God got something going on for you up here that you don't even know that that you don't even know is about to happen. Just mm -hmm. continue the path that you're going and you're going to run into it. Like, Man, the shit I was doing, I would not expect to be doing this. So it was like one day it just happened and it how? just blew up. Tell me, tell oh, me, walk okay. me down. Okay, how did it first happen? Okay, so the character came about like um my grandma my grandmother had these wild ass clothes from the seventies, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like these tiger striped leggings, this crazy ass fur and shit. I got me hot than a motherfucker <laughs> and um and all type of clothes. So I had got some crazy. Ass, I had got these teeth. I got him out the gumball machine. I put on all her clothes. And then this personality and all these words just start flowing. And they just start going. And it was like, my grandma was like, who the hell are you? And I was like, I'm Sly Fly, no alibi. <laughs> so you just made it up all, right, just like that? On the spot. This shit wow. just came on the spot. And it's like crazy. I was in my auntie kitchen. My grandma was there visiting. And um, and so my auntie was like, man, um, I'll take you to my cousin house. I'll give you 25 bucks if you go to Terranika house dressed like this. I said, shit, come on. So we go over there, we get to Terranika house, she losing her shit like you don't look real. Like she like, Oink, is that you? I'm like, yeah, she lives <laughs> in the motherfucking flesh at the best. And uh, she like, I'll pay you $50 to go through the mall like this. So, so you keep making more and more money every time. Every time, you know okay. what I'm saying? And so we go to the mall, shut that shit down. People ask me to take pictures with their babies. Shit going crazy, motherfucker gave me some t-shirts, all type of shit. You know, but wow. then, so that's where the character came from. And, and you just loved it after that. And then one day, I was fucking with this little, um, <clears throat> this little Razzle Dazzle, and she had one to the bathroom. And when she came back from the bathroom, I had the shit on. And she was like, what the fuck? You know, and then I just thought, you know, I was like, man, you know, talking my shit or whatnot. And she was like, you should put that on the internet. Right. I'm like, word. So I did it. And the first video I did, I put on Facebook, it did almost a million views. Wow. How long ago was this? About... Seven years now. Seven years. Wow. So you've been doing it that long. Yes. Yes. Well, how have you improved yourself from that first day that you started till to now? now? Um, man, honestly, to see the progression is crazy. Like, because I got cold as fuck with the phone. Mm. You know, like, that's that was my skill or whatever was I was working with. So, like, just to see the way I used to shoot my division for, um... The skits, mm -hmm. they're coming up with concept for skits. Just all the shit just comes like this now to where mm. I would have to sit out and think and it would take days, maybe sometimes five, a couple of days. Yeah. Now I could just look at shit and be like, oh, I could do this with that or we could do this with that, you know, like. So, so practice, the, just keep doing it. It started to come. Practice makes perfect. perfect. I just kept doing it. And then that's the other thing. So my first video did like a million views, mm -hmm. 700K. And then the next video did a hundred K, then the video did a hundred K, then another video did a million. And so the fan base just started going off of that. And then like I was based judging based off the content that they was fucking with. Like whatever get lots of views, mm -hmm. I would try to like, okay, if y'all like that, what can I do? To keep that going. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so and in the process I just learned how to get good. What's the most viewed video that you have now up to this date? Shit, it's it's pick one um, now. No, like how many millions or how, how how high has it gone in views? If you go to TikTok, you could pick a couple on that. One of them did 16 million 16 alone. 16 million, okay. Um, but, um, man, it, it, uh, they kind of they kind of like all up there. Like on Instagram, I got a couple on that hit a million. But just all together TikTok collectively. Seem like, TikTok seemed like it, it get up there quicker, though. Yeah, it? yeah, that's the one, though. That's I ain't going to cap. Like some of them, like shit, hit like. Who pays the most? TikTok. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, I've heard that, and I've heard some people say Facebook pay better. They probably do, shit, you know, but 
Mm, that that it depends on who 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 got the strong platform. Like mm -hmm. my my strong platform is uh, Instagram and, and TikTok. TikTok. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we ain't even tapped into YouTube yet. Mm. I think you it's know? I think it's which one ever one you decide you want to make your favorite. Indeed, and, and, and it's a preference thing. Lord so it, you can go ahead take it off. <laughs> go ahead and take no, it off. No, no, keep him keep him right in there. Don't let him out of it. Hey, you want a paper towel? He ain't care. Give me one, baby. Sugar. Let give the nigga sweat it out. That nigga want it. If he want the best, do the nigga want it. It's, it's the hand dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you wanted, I thought you wanted it. Thank you, Sugar Lips. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I, I oh. had a nigga, a pastor. What was that preacher name that we had in there in character? Oh. Preacher no good sometimes. Uh, yeah, the preacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to see which one of y'all the hardest, nigga. It was a preacher. He, was, in there. he had on wigs and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and That's he came Jordan in. Jackson. Yeah, Jordan Jackson. Jackson. Shout out to Jordan Jackson. He come okay, through. Jordan, I'm going to have to check you out, Jordan. Shout out to Mr. Hard. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I like the way that you uh, you definitely embracing it. Mm -hmm. Um, So would you, you going to take this? To the to a, a movie uh, is that where you headed? That's uh, definitely the goal. You, you know, see the, what I'm the, saying? try to take it as far as it could go. You know, but definitely, we like I get a lot of comments saying like, "Man, when you gonna be in the movies and whatnot?" So that is the, that is what definitely what we're pushing for. If not more, like comedy. I mean, stand up, stand up comedy. That you know, I was a little afraid of that, but now I done filled out and built up the balls and the galls to go ahead and uh, you know, what I'm saying, knock them down. Yeah, what? because we've had people come on and say, you know, to do skits and to do all that is a totally different avenue to go stand up i it, mean like what you find funny over here might not be funny over here but then we had carlos miller said if you out here doing skits and you're doing it with your phone and all of that when you go on stage that's what you need to bring to the stage as well because that's the reason why these people come to see you mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. right that makes sense don't it yes, yes why yes. would you change it if that's what worked for you and it's already getting people to see you millions of people now you're gonna go on a comedy show or a comedy run and try to be like the guys who started doing it the way they doing it mm -hmm. it don't make sense and I agree with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, be you. Yes. Come and with you. I agree with both. Mm -hmm. You know, because I went and I witnessed and watched my a couple of my people. Shout out Mojo Brooks and uh uh Fat Fat Baby. I'm I'm miss I'm fucking up your name. <laughs> 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 but it, she be with Mojo all the time, and and I went and watched them in person, and it was like, man, the way they captured the crowd and was just that shit didn't. Ain't like making no skits. Mm -hmm. What well, to wear a skit? You can stop. You can rehearse. You can edit. You can oh fuck that right. up. Let me do this over right there. It's live, and then you fuck up. You fuck up in front of everybody. You know. But what still, saying? but some people might still like when you mess up though, because you can turn it into a joke and keep it rolling. Indeed, indeed, and that's what I start to become more open minded to. Right. You know right. what not? And well, open minded. <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, because even like with Jordan, I'm gonna go back to Jordan because. I remember when I saw him, see him on the skits and everything like that. He's funny. And for me, going to see um, an internet character and then go see him in person, I thought that I was going to get that. He switched it up on me. And I like him better on stand-up than I do on internet. Indeed. And so that's what I start to understand as well with my open-mindedness mm -hmm. that I can in, in, uh, tie in the two. I can do what I do and like, how can I do this on the stage? Exactly. And that's it, you know. Yeah. And then so once I... You know, construct that puzzle together. Shit, it's on. <laughs> uh, you know, with everything that you're doing, to be honest with you, and the way I'm seeing your character now, it just give me like a Kanye vibe. Mm -hmm. Kanye West. You know, uh, I, don't, I, don't, why, I don't know why, what the fuck. Why, 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 why would that give you a because, Kanye vibe? Because, I'm trying to figure this out. some of the things that's being said and the way they're trying to portray him on the internet, just wow. I don't know what the fuck you <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I if, you, if you're talking about as far as him not giving a fuck what people think, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the rest of that other shit, yeah, that's him. I brought it in like that to say, man, I want to ask you about just how you feel about what's going on with him being he's from Chicago. That's how I hit y'all. Indeed, indeed. I mean... You're talking about the things he's saying about the Jews or just everything? Not everything. Hell, Kanye don't just talk about Jews. Kanye do a lot. You indeed, know what I'm saying? Indeed. So give me your spiel on what your, your homeboy... Uh, doing, you know, your homeboy. I mean, well, he from his home. Indeed, you know, I don't elaborate too much on another motherfucker's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying, and I don't, I don't get caught up in internet gossip and all that either. You know, now uh, I'll pray <laughs> that you know he gets better and you know and, and, and he rises above all the controversy that he's going through. But for me, you know, like damn, it just see me hurt. I, I mean, I'm just hurt to see a motherfucker go through the bullshit he going through. Because it's like, nigga, you got the bag. 
Go get the back, sit your ass down somewhere, wake up every day and drink mimosas and chill and go do rich people shit. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get your kids, be a boss. You know, first off, you got to drop the dick on the bitch. You acting too tender dick. Go get your kids. Them your kids too. You better slap a bitch or tell a bitch what the fuck. Look, bitch. <laughs> You know, that's what you get. Put your foot down. Damn about you arguing. You want that man in prison, don't you? Who? No, you he ain't going to prison. prison. You ain't got to go to prison. Did uh -huh. he slap her? I ain't say slap her. I mean, if you have to, but, you know, <laughs> just, just let her know, like, I ain't, I ain't finna do all the social media bullshit. I got the bag. I'm going to Wyoming. Me and my kids going to you know some big wheels. You know what I about? You take your ass over there with, with, what? with that... Listen, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, because the other night we was watching, um, I had Color Purple up. Mm -hmm. And you remember when um, Whoopi Hopper. told her, told her, you need to, you, no, told, 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 told Harper to beat her. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened after that? Well, she killed, she killed him or something? She whooped him real good. She yeah. whooped him. Yeah, she <laughs> whooped him. I mean, but see, it's all, it's, all, it's all about the different ways of pimping. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't just being all aggressive and going gorilla beating a bitch. It's just, I need you to understand you know, and being aware with the clarity of life, bitch. You ain't living in no social media. This is what the fuck going on over here. Now, if you want to paint a perception for these motherfuckers, then you do so. But when you turn that camera off, this who's the motherfucking boss. <laughs> boss talk. <laughs> but, okay, so one thing I've always seen, because I've met so many internet characters. Mm -hmm. How many times when you're not in character, you don't have your teeth on, you're not dressed up, people see you on the road and people come up to you expecting to see that character all the time? You know, now what's crazy is a lot of people do not recognize me out of character. Really? You know, I'm, start, I'm starting to get it. You know, and, I, and I'm grateful for it. You know, I be feeling like, you know, I be, I be tingling inside. <laughs> you know, I be trying to keep the shit cool, but in the inside I'm like, <gasps> You recognize me? That's you know. a blessing and a curse because sometimes you want your life, you know, to Indeed. yourself. Indeed. You don't want to be recognized because once you're being recognized, it's too much people. You know, you have to act a certain way. You got to this, you got to that. Because mm -hmm. people nowadays, everything goes on social media. So if you're out there and you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, mm -hmm. somebody catch you, that going straight to the internet. Indeed. Now, what fucks up the, uh, now, I don't give a fuck. Okay. Don't let that you can you can catch a catch it without you want <laughs> in and out of character. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna oh, okay. be me. So let that be out there. Now, like you said, the thing though about it is when they meet me out of character, mm -hmm. I'm mellow than the motherfucker. That's what I'm I was cool, wondering. Down, and they be why you not you not making me laugh yeah. or doing no jokes, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> the hell I'm trying to smoke and chill. You want to make you laugh, bitch? Uh, do a dick. <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying it's shit it's, we chilling you know excuse me my, excuse me right you know but uh, yeah man that should be it'd it be a little bit crazy you know Does cause they always tiring? want you to be on yeah they yeah. always want you to be on you know motherfucker think you just around the crib with this shit on just all day that this is you all the time just all the mother I wash my ass with these teeth and everything you know like shit so describe you when you're not in character who are you a motherfucker trying to get high and chill I just want I just want to smoke and chill, you know, enjoy life, you know. But I be with my kids when I'm out of character. So How many I'm like, kids you got? I got five, five boys. Uh uh. I watch. So you, you ain't done. You got to keep going till you get a girl. Uh, no, I think I'm done. I I think I'm done. You, you got to get a girl. It, the, the more, Daddy's the, little girl. You the, know? Mo, the more money I get, uh, then I might not quit because you know, <laughs> long as I can financially support them. But shit, if I can't, then I know it's illegal to abort them. So <laughs> shit, we gonna come up with another way. <laughs> So you taking care of all of your kids? Oh, right? indeed, indeed. I love my motherfucking boys. Shout out my boys, <laughs> but y'all badasses. Do any of them um, have that comedic side to them? Vante is a, is a um is a characteristic motherfucker. He's a sneaky motherfucker. I think that's my one out of the How kids. How old is he? He's ten. Ten. You know he do the TikToks and he know all the shit and whatnot. So he he with the shit. My boy Trey. He nah I ain't in no goddamn cameras. You know what I'm saying? He fucking the cameras. I want to go get on the computer and chill. Play he, games. You know he a sneaky freaky motherfucker too. Oh, you know what oh, I'm saying? No, okay. Is you looking at ass? Oh, okay. How is old you, is he? He 13. So he about he about to you know long that age. To, what kind of ass is you looking at nowadays, Maze? <laughs> you know <laughs> you gotta ask. You feel me? You gotta this shit ask. is crazy now. I know. So it's like oh you looking at that type of ass? Okay, that's all right now. Don't show your mama. <laughs> but the other one I'm gonna be mad about. <laughs> <laughs> so. Have you put um, your son, the one that is, has a character, have mm -hmm. you put him in any of your skits? Not yet. You know, they kind of like, and it's crazy because people think my family love it, but they mm -hmm. be like, 
kind of out the way. They let me do my yeah, thing. I like if I ask them, like, but I say Vante is the one who be like, can I be in a skit? Right. Or you want me to be in a skit? And I'll be like, Vante, come do it. Oh no, yeah, if you okay. want to do it, like hell yeah. Okay. Like, but my four year old, he bucked the fuck wild. <laughs> you you gotta do the skit around him. Because he might run through this motherfucker ass naked. I'm not bullshitting. He will take his clothes off and run uh -uh. through the interview looking for the bathroom. I'm like, I don't know where this come from, but I'm trying to keep they this They all have a character inside of them. That's they, what it is. They all crazy. They all crazy. But you know what? That's why I love, you know, I always talk about Country Wayne because he includes all his kids in his, you know, in his program. Because mm -hmm. you're trying to gain generational wealth. You're trying to teach them how to get that bag from a young age. Indeed. You get in the bag, you chasing the bag, you need to show them at a young age to make it easier for them as they get older. Indeed, indeed. I should definitely tell them, and I, and I tell them too, it's a way to get a bag for everything in this day and age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing I preach about because I was like, uh, Trey, the big, the, my 13 year old who liked the video games. Back in the day when we was little, you get in trouble for playing the motherfuckers all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, now you can get mother, the, the boy played the Fortnite and won three million for the motherfucker. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nigga, you can get you, scholarships doing that you now. Is you twitching? Is you streaming? Is you doing something? You know, you all this shit going in the direction to get the motherfucking bag. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So long as you going that way, I don't give, uh, give exactly. a shit what you do. Exactly. You know? I tell my son all the time because he be playing games all all day long, and I'm like, you making other people make money. How are you? Accumulating money from right. what you're doing. Right, at least get you a Twitch. If Some, you going, you know what I'm saying, stream and get your own money, your own. They don't want to do it. Mine don't want to do it. They they do what they want to do. No matter how much you tell them and teach them and put them on the platform, mm -hmm. they don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I just like pray about it and leave it alone. Is it for, for real, you shit. can't force them to do it. Or else they're gonna half ass do whatever you want them to do oh, anyway. Oh, half ass, and my man's is the king of half asses. <laughs> the kings of half asses. I think they only one only got a left cheek, the other one only got a right cheek. That's the most, <laughs> so, where do you think? Where do you want this character to take you in the next say in the next year by twenty twenty three? Because twenty twenty two is almost done. What do you want to see? from your craft because I heard you said something about YouTube that you're not on YouTube yet not really yeah so that's what we're doing now to set up the um set up um let's try to start a streaming service right or, or just, what is it what is it we do we're doing some some pods some episodes mm -hmm. I can't even talk to Henny again to me we're trying <laughs> to uh do some episodes to, so we can get together enough material mm -hmm. to get to go for the TV shows because all of your skits you can start Putting them on your um, YouTube just to start, you yeah, know, that's what get like. monetized and get your, you know, foot in the door and stuff like that. And then you can, you know, um, make it better as time go along. But at least you have your crowd coming straight to your platform already. No, so that's the thing. Like, I got I got enough followers. I'm, I'm, uh, on like, your YouTube? Yes. And I okay. think I'm, like, this close to monetization and whatnot. Okay. So I'm right there. But the thing I like about it personally is, like, it doesn't look... Like, if I go on now, is you can see I, I started, you mm -hmm. know, just to get my page started. But the direction we're going to go is more constructed. Okay. So, it, it. it's going to look, you know, like, um, it's going to look more professional. Mm -hmm. So, we can pitch it to exactly. some type of network and whatnot. Exactly. So, you know, instead of me just sloshing it up and whatnot, now I'm, I'm grateful that they got the things like the story feed mm -hmm. or the story reels mm -hmm. so we can throw content from, you know, different platforms and like that. Because you have shorts too. Yeah, shorts, yeah, that's right. what I was talking about. So we'll throw like uh, Instagram content or whatever content for that, but it's per se YouTube, like I said, again, it's more constructed and it's more going in the direction so we can pitch it. Exactly. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. So you said by 2023, that's what you're going to have done. Indeed, yes. That's awesome. Oh, guys, man, my boy show just showed up. Yeah, man. man. Good to see you, man. You in the building. Likewise. One, likewise. One he showed up with a question. He came and said, I got a question. I got a question. I want to know something. Yeah, that's I got exactly. a question for my partner, though. What's up, baby? Like, so when you started this, you know, along the way, have you, was, did you get any inspiration from anybody? Did you watch anybody, take any notes from anybody? It's all just on the fly for real. I, I get inspiration from life. You know, not just, uh, once I understood the craft, I started to draw inspiration from everything. Like like now I could watch Eddie, uh, Eddie Murphy movies and, and appreciate the craft and see the construction and the humor and all this, like, I just be able to soak it up more so, but I get inspiration from everybody and anything in life. Like you said, you know, we was talking earlier about how some real life shit happened right. and it made you think of a skit. Right. And that's 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 mostly how my, my skits were uh, came about. Either something through 
something that was relatable or, you know, the average person go through. And then after that, like within that, people start to say like, oh, you're funny. And that part was funny and that was funny. So then I start to recognize, you know, how to bring out my own sense of humor. But at the same time, like, yeah, man, I, I drew that shit from everything, man. So, you know, like, like. You know how, like, a rapper, I always feel like he can rap? Mm -hmm. Like, when uh, I think a comedian tell jokes, he always think he funny. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, when did you know? And like, and like, where were you, like, when your followers started picking up and you seen, like, how, how, how did it affect you? Like, what did you think when you saw how it affected other people? Honestly, I humble. And, and to this day, I'm humble. And I... I, I and, I let the people be the judge. I don't, I, and, and, and right, like, it's crazy that you say that because I still, I still don't think, like, you're like, y'all think that's funny? Or y'all think I'm funny? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, the more, whatever the people, whatever the people like or uh, uh, um, gravitate to is what I feed off of. So right. the people, you know, are, are you know, are the, are the field of my fire, dog. So that's, that's the beauty about it. I've always been humble, never came out you know, trying to be funny or trying to write jokes, you know what I'm saying? I just fed off the energy from the internet and just tried to, like you said, I I grew around that mm -hmm. and just trying to keep going off that. So man, it was always the people, you know, I never got big headed and I never will be, you know, cause I never, I wasn't this, you know what I'm saying? I was a regular nine to five Walmart working motherfucker. I worked at Walmart like a motherfucker, you feel me? So for this shit to be blowing up in my, in my pocket as I'm at work, and people saying all this shit, I never, oh yeah, nigga, it's on, fuck Walmart, it's on, I'm I'm Hollywood, no, it was, oh yeah, word, that's love. And then I just try to keep giving the people what they want. And while you were at Walmart, nobody knew that that was you because you said a lot of times people didn't know it was you. Some and some didn't, but it, it got to a point where I couldn't hide it in Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, but then it got to a point where I couldn't have it at all too still, a lot of people knew. I, I bet when you was on that, on, the, on that billboard in New York, you oh, can't yeah. hide it no more. Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> Man, it, it, and it's crazy. The places I, it, the, the character has took me, that's why I always remain humble. Because, like, to be with, hanging with Jim Jones and shit like that, Dog, you so know what, what I'm saying? What did you and Jim Jones do again? I missed that. Uh, man, you know, he just fucked with me on the ground and started following me and shit. And then one day I was out there in NY and he was doing this NFT convention, you know, because we both had jumped into that. And I slid on him and he recognized me. You know, I thought he was going to be on some Hollywood <laughs> shit, you know. He, oh, my man, come through. And then shit, we just chopped it up and shit. And it was it was just like that. Just a little love. None, none. Were you dressed in character? Indeed, you know. Okay, yeah, he going to recognize you Indeed. then. Indeed, yes, yes. And that's gold because at the end of the day, you never know who you gonna get your favor from God for. Yes, it's gonna it's gonna come. You just don't know how it's gonna come. You can't put a you can't even put a, 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 a it's gonna happen this way on it. It's just something that's gonna be something that's gonna be like damn, it floored you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, that's a blessing, man. So who's some people that you would like to work with? Like like if you was able to work with anybody, who would who would you pick? Shit, who uh. Man, I don't know who the fuck I, I want to work with everybody and anybody who want to work with me, especially big wise. Like to me, anybody that we like Eddie Murphy. I like Eddie Murphy. I'm going to say I that. See, I, just, you keep I, like talking about him. Yeah. I like Eddie that's Murphy. Money money. Money. That's, that's, that, that's that. <laughs> You know, I watched in the boomerang. He had a lot of characters. He played a lot of different characters. I ain't even movies. thinking about characters. I like to do old oh shit. Like boomerang. I've been watching that lately, and I'm like, dog, that shit is hilarious to me. Coming to America, I just watched that. Yeah, he watched. I you know. know the, okay, which one did you like better, the first or the second? Oh, the first. You know the first. I'm sorry. Classic. Thank you. Yeah, I love the first one, but I know some people who said they like the second one. Yeah, that's that's both, some new people. I, I think it's just All what right. you got to understand is for a time that they did that during the COVID and stuff like that, when it, when people wasn't putting movies out, that's how you have to scale that. Mm -hmm. Nobody wasn't really doing nothing when I mean, movie it came worked. Out. I mean, I'm pretty sure he got paid off of yeah, it. Yeah, he, he, made, oh, he, he sold, sold it. it. He, he sold, sold it. it. Yeah. Amazon. He went. He made money. He made money. He went tripping it off. But I think the the main thing is Eddie would be a good fit for you. I could see you doing something with Eddie. I could see you doing something with Martin. Yeah, yeah indeed. Right. A lot I of could, time. I, could, I could see you hanging out with uh, 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 Roman Rome. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. And that's the other thing. <laughs> I, yeah. I, can I can see, see, I can see you uh, Jamie Foxx, too. Like, Fuck with Jamie. That's hard. Like, like, like people who do character. different uh, characters, characters, characters and stuff like that. Yeah. But Jamie, Jamie's super talented. And But shout out Martin because when I first did it, uh, the character put 
a lot of people in a, in, in thought he was Jerome Rome. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So they, oh, shit, is Romy Rome and whatnot. And then one day, you know, I reached out to him. I was like, man, you know, the shit is blowing up or whatever just because of you. Shout out, salute. And he responds back oh, like, I see you. Oh, that's dope. You know, that shit, that shit did something to me. Yeah. It's too. Yeah, because a lot people of people. don't understand just to get that little response. It don't have to be no whole conversation or nothing. Just, just something. Motivation. Mm-hmm. Motivation. Right. So yeah, it was like hard. the green like to keep going because I ain't want to just, and that's another thing why I tried to like, just be creative creative as I can with the character because I didn't want people to think like, okay, he like this or he like that or he like the, or he like Romy Rome. That's why I tried to build shit with my hands, create shit, come up with the pimp poetries or we teach educational lessons, shit. Yeah. We go do uncle shit with the kids, yeah. you know, just separate myself so mm-hmm. you can't box mm-hmm. me in. Yeah, exactly. That's hard, I love man. It. So, I mean, uh, you one of those guys now, man. You one of those guys that you got... Uh, Country Wayne, he does uh, 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 he does a uh, old man mm-hmm. the, the trick. Then he d- turns around and do a drip. Uh, there's characters, man, and, and and you guys are doing it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You got Bubba Dub with the trash statement, and he the snitch. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or you know you got all these characters. You guys have so much going on. Sly, you doing your thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, but one thing Alex Thomas did say, and that, that that's who we've seen up and out. He was like, it's cool to do it for five minutes, but when you get on that stage. Mm-hmm. Is a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you were saying earlier. So mm-hmm. I, I agree with that. You know what I mean? Like you have to be able to stand up there not for five minutes, for 35 minutes. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And so that's what I'm pushing to. So yeah. let me ask you, like, what you feel like was the big difference when you finally started doing it, like stand up? I know you said, like, you could cut and stop the skits, but I'm saying it's like, is your is your comedy style different as far as being on, on the stage in front of the mic or... I mean, honestly, I haven't I haven't been up on the stage to compare the two. Okay, you right, know what I'm saying. Right. So that's what I'm like uh, putting together my own package, if mm-hmm. you want to put it like that. So, I, like she said, I'm learning how to incorporate what I do on the gram and put it how to put it into words on stage, and then I'll be able to gauge it from like that. But from what I'm feeling, like man, it, like I said, I be up at like two thirty in the morning and shit. The baby just went to sleep and shit, and I be call me crazy. I be talking and shit and doing shit to myself, talking out loud and shit, and it feels like I'm talking amongst a crowd of motherfuckers yeah. already. Right. You know what I'm saying? And this shit feel like deja vu or some type of fucking out of body experience because it's like, where the fucking people at? And you I should be, record yourself so you can watch yourself to see. And so, and so what I fuck up is I'll try to like construct some or think some instead of doing it in the heat of the moment and, and, and you know record right. it and build around that you yeah, know what you saying? Can record it because t- when you're doing it and you know how sometimes you think oh it's good i'm good i'm good but when you actually record yourself and watch yourself i'm like no nah, i need to switch that i need to do this i need Indeed. to do that you, you know? be able to critique and that's the difference between like even without answering or, or having through the experience being on stage, like she said, even though you can fuck up and they can laugh at your imperfections and think that's cool too, but ain't no redo. Cut the camera, stop, and redo it. Right. You know, you get it up there, you better have your shit together. You know, kind of at least so you got to keep, you know, it's a skill to that shit Man, too. You know, but think yeah, about your redo. Hold on. Think about your redo as this because... I'm going to go back to Jordan Jackson again because the first time he went up, he said he flopped that first time. Mm -hmm. He thought that they were going to take him off the tour, that he wasn't even going to go no further. But he gave him more opportunities to keep going. You have to, sometimes some people do, who else said they got booed? Um, Was it Carlos Miller? No, no, it wasn't Carlos. It was somebody else who said they got booed the first time. Shout out Carlos. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you just have to go through it. Your redo is the next time to make it better. Practice make perfect. And, that, and I think that's what I done built off the balls to not get, I don't give a fuck God get booed. Right. You know, like, like once I get, you know, when I, my, my, my work down, then I'm gonna go out there and try that shit and then I'm like, okay, that was fucked up. I could do this better. I could, it's the same thing what I did with the skits. I kept doing shit and then, you know, I'd be like, oh man, I could have did this better. I could have did that better. And eventually you get the shit tight. It's just crazy, man. Like I said, a lot of the people that I got got to say face on. He was in character when he was playing Big Worm. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? Like, like he did that. Not only he had a couple of episodes where he was in character. You've mm-hmm. seen that. Mm-hmm. This is something that's. This is this is not something that's uh, 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 not been seen. But to be on the internet doing it now puts it in a different. Uh, you know, a different place than what it originally was seen. Right. So, so that's the thing that I think 
that makes it something what different and it's so direct to consumer now. Indeed. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you can get it straight to the person now and, and you can find out in a day or in a minute if it's good or not because yeah. it's going to tell you right quick nigga that's good yeah. nigga that's bad take it down mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it ain't mm -hmm. moving so you got to listen to what the, what the people, what the people saying, saying right indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. so are you going to be uh, uh, um, you know you go everywhere and do skits like all different cities hell yeah I love the people I want to be and then I don't want to be on some Hollywood shit like I want to wow. go to the nice places you know what I'm saying because the nigga ain't been to the nice places but I want to go everywhere to the places you would not expect or think me to be I want to be at somebody goddamn kids birthday party in the backyard kicking it barbecuing we fishing and fish fries fucking you know I want to be somewhere like I want to meet everybody what's and the craziest everything. place you've been so far that even like borderline whether dangerous or crazy or whatever uh, my house <laughs> <laughs> I almost died a few times up in that motherfucker yeah, I can't go into details but yeah but no nah, no bullshit I ain't, I ain't been nowhere too crazy yet but that's the thing about what we're doing with the YouTube series okay that's that's we're gonna take those adventures you know okay. shit like that you know mildly dangerous semi scary <laughs> niggas ain't supposed to be in no type of shit exactly. like this exactly exactly but I see you even walking down like a white neighborhood Mm-hmm. I, I mean, just like that. Oh, yeah. Now, as far as like, yeah, I done been out like this in public and shit and like, you know, fucked up. You should see the reactions. And yeah. that's, I can't wait. Like, we was getting the tools to do that because I didn't want to burn it up. So we get like the mics and you can see uh -huh. people from a distance and just shoot it correctly so you can get the uh, that the people the reaction. Because that should be crazy. That is, is, and it's fun and I love that shit Man. But do you, are you planning to incorporate any other characters in your skits because just like how he was talking about how um, Country Wayne have Drip and he have all these other characters have you ever thought about doing multiple characters and not just I mean not really but yeah I've been told to do so but you know everything that, just, that happened came kind of naturally you know so I was like if it happens organically then okay. yeah you know what I'm saying I, but I will you know, think about it, shit, and build the shit. And if that's what the, the people keep saying, and if, if that's what the universe keep telling me, then I'm gonna listen. Yeah, because you won't know if, if they like it till you just do it and see the reaction. And if they don't like it, then just take it off and okay. And keep shelf. moving, keep working. Keep, right. Indeed, yes. Man, I like it, man. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you, Sly, for coming down through here, giving us this sauce, man. man. Who's your top three comedians of all time, dead or alive? Ooh, well, huh? goddamn, we got this go where Eddie Murphy at first, <laughs> right? And I already said him. Uh, who, ooh, you gonna put me on blast like that? That's what we do to yeah. everybody. Jim Carrey. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Jim yeah, Carrey. I'll fuck with like Jim him. Carrey. Uh, and man, comedy why my last comedian? Shit. Shit. You know, I, li I like. I liked it a lot. Bernie Mac? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to Bernie Mac. But then I like a lot of motherfuckers. No, you just need to name one. Just, 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 just one. That was just one. on three. Just three. That, that was so, my three. So, okay, so, so Bernie Eddie, Mac. It was Eddie. Okay. Eddie, um, Jim Carrey. Eddie and Murphy, Bernie Jim Mac. Carrey, and Bernie Mac. Okay. So I'm a lot of people always say, all the comedians always say Richard Pryor. Yeah. I always say Richard Pryor because he's like the godfather in all of this. That's to them though. Because you know what I'm saying? He was that was when they was little and shit. Eddie, you was the nigga when I was little. You know oh, what I'm saying? You. So but hats off to the to, to the big dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I like the these motherfuckers over here. <laughs> <laughs> so so man, you know, one thing I can say, man, I wish you much success, man. How can people get a hold to you if they trying to get a hold to you, man? Man, follow me on Sly Fly McCartney on all platforms. That's S L Y S. F L Y McCartney. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, so uh yeah, and uh I don't think, you know, it's it's a few things that that, that happens, you know, around uh, uh entertainment, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you watching all the stuff that's going on with everybody, man. Where the hell is coming at, man? And uh what's that other boy name up there? You don't see them no more. What happened to all the damn music, man? You got coming and what's that other boy, y'all chance to rap Why these I, damn I, I folks have to see from out there with you? Now chance was just doing chance trying to do some shit with the kids. He doing shit with the kids and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I get him that he doing a lot of behind the scene things. Oh, okay. Uh common, I don't know where the fuck he is. <laughs> I'm gonna go out there and look for him. I got 
goddamn See, the last self. time I heard about him, I think he, he was, was with, working on the TVs or something. No, last wow. time I heard, he was with Tiffany and then they broke up. That's but the last time hey. Tiffany had it. I thought that it was that Queen Latifah. Oh, that, that, that's just uh-huh. the movie. That, that was, was just the movie. movie. Oh, okay. That's just the movie. Stay in a, re- in, a, in a broken relationship and disappear. He be on the scene with his girl. Then he try to fuck with her and then He just disappeared. Then he popped back up six months later with another one. You be like, what the hell? He's somewhere in Badu backyard trying to him at goddamn 300 trying to get back in high ass. I don't know. What happened with, uh, it, I think it was, uh, I think he had that old girl too, that old tennis playing girl at one point too. Really? Oh, somebody, yeah. Uh, yeah. Serena. Serena. She's married yeah. now. Yeah. Was, I mean, that, that was a rumor. Yeah, that was a rumor. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. 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 Man, oh love, man. Hey, man. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. Chicago was cold and thick. The ice was that thick when we went up there. One man, up. nigga, is negative. Negative party was about what they were doing up there. Well, y'all, y'all can't I, even go outside. Can you? Shit, crazy. It's the dangerous, man. That's why you got you got to buy that shit in bulk, though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> deep dish pizza place, huh? Mm-hmm. I love it. I love the deep dish. Thing, huh? Yes, tacos. Motherfuckers tacos. love tacos. That's uh-huh. what I be on out there. The Fucking tacos. What's, yeah. what's the best taco place up there? Shit, you gonna put it on black? Uh, L, 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 pistolas, fucking with pistolas. Go really? to pistolas, you fuck with pistolas. See, we never tried taco. We tried the pizza because I love Chicago pizza better than New York pizza because I love the, the deep dish. I, I mean, but it's Italian beefs. You go to Maxwell's and shit like that. It's just I feel like Chicago got all the little a bunch of little good side foods and shit. Just like I don't know. I always <laughs> a eat a bunch of good side foods. <laughs> Like, fuck the chicken. Give me the uh, motherfucking red beans. I know. You got good sides. I'm the made greens, for some shit. Greens and yams. <laughs> say, I'm made oh, food shit. and shit. But we got some hell of a sides. No, <laughs> but shit, man. It be about, like I said, I don't eat the shit that everybody like. The deep dish pizza, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna be mad at me. I don't give you a fuck. You don't even eat it. I don't eat deep dish like that. You don't? Uh-huh. I, li- I like thin crust. That's him. You know what I'm That's saying? Him. I fuck a, a whole thin crust up by myself. I don't like it. Just a whole lot of bread. And she got that bread. No, it's not a whole lot, lot of bread. bread. It's that's a whole lot of cheese. That's too goddamn thick. That's, that's like eating peanut butter oh. on some bread. You know, <laughs> that's like a pie pie biscuit with some sauce on that motherfucker. Man, if you don't thin this shit up. Uh-uh. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I love y'all. Ain't got to eat it with a knife and fork. That's, see, that's too much. Who the fuck want a cake? I got a cake pizza. Mm-mm. Man, so um, you know, like, like uh, what what I think is, you should find you a real cute female, mm-hmm. and I need you to get on the set with you, and I need you to tell her, you know, get this money, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. in that outfit, mm-hmm. and we're gonna make a million views. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I just <laughs> what's the strip? We can't. No, what was the strip we was on earlier? We was chasing some bitches. Hey, I was, oh, man, I slid up oh, on a few shit. of them. God damn. Start with an H. Yeah, Harry Hines. Harry Hines. Yeah, yeah. 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 You went down on Harry Hines. They said the bitches out there. I was yeah. like, yeah. yeah, I see no, about two, three of them. Um, no, no. You go this time of the night. You'll see more. Right now, right oh, now. Yeah, they got out almost the ran out the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to put out the nights, man. What that Dallas Cabaret? Oh, oh yeah. you, you already know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, Wait a minute. 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 Wait a <laughs> I'm gonna let me just say that. I ain't gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Man, I just want to say thank y'all, man. Show, Gratitude. thank you for uh, uh, linking me up, man. Hey, man. Loved it, bro. Uh, Sly, man, thank you for coming in by West Chicago, man. Boss Talk 101 is a thing, man. Listen, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Be real with you, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk, man. Y'all just seen what went down, man. Yes, hey, this sir. man all the way in by West Chicago, man, the Windy City. The nigga going back up there where it's going to get cold and nifty. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. <laughs> no, he got a jacket. He got the right jacket for it. He going to oh, need yeah. it. He going to need it. I'm going to need a thicker one. Like always, man, I just want to say I appreciate y'all for you know oh, always man. opening the doors for man. me, bro. And you know, from the time we met, you've been solid, bro. I oh, appreciate man. that. It ain't a lot of people like you out here, fam. Man. I'm talking about I met That's bro. Real. 
uh, through Lucci. You know, oh, really? baby Shout out Lucci. Diamond. Lucci was in the building. Yeah, shout out Lucci. We got them all, nigga. You know we got them all. Yeah. So I, I met him and uh, we just uh, sat outside and just had a, just a real, a real nigga conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And nigga, I wasn't on shit. I was just supporting bro and telling him, man, keep doing what you're doing. I like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. And for real, bro. And this is an example of the people. He what never I'm forgot talking about and how I feed off the people. He ran. Mm-hmm. I was going to the car to change some shit, throwing some other shit. And he, bro, come here. I'm um, huh? He come here. <laughs> I'm like, shit, these niggas, they, they can carry guns and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't got nothing. He can come here. Yeah. yeah. I'm walking up to the car nervous. To, I'm there. I'm like this nigga. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do him a skit for free. I'm just, you know. I'm, yeah, he bro. Much love to what you're doing. Your man's cash explained to me what you was doing down here, man. And he just hit. And that shit was so heartfelt. I kept fucking with the man to this day. You know what I'm saying? So that's again like this is a prime example of people being genuine and uh, just the positive reflection that I gravitate towards too. You feel me? Yeah. So, man, I, it's all about love. Well, I don't do no negativity. Bro, you kept his me? word. I, t- I told him months ago, I said, bro, we gonna, you know, at some point, we gonna work. Right, we, I'm gonna figure out a way we gonna work. And he said, shit, just let me know, tap in. And, you know, he made it work, bro. And I, I appreciate that. You man. know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you you rare. Man, see, I'm getting all rare. tingly. I'm about to blush. <laughs> no, man. No, he man. He blushing. He blushing. Oh, no, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. My nigga. <laughs> Hey, I love that. I'm mad ass too. Shit, I'm trying to be hey, man. I'm sticking For my chest real, out in this bitch. <laughs> Let me hit this Hennessy. <laughs> Goddamn man up around here. <laughs> man the fuck up around here. Man, man. Hey, thank y'all man. so much, man. I think we did it, man. It's hey, been another one. Yeah. Hey, I gotta say, thank you to Boss Talk, though. Hey, I, I did what? not get to say that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Boss Talk, for having me. Thank you, show. Thank you, motherfucking E, Mr. Baker, beautiful Jamaica, man. This shit was fun. It was love, man. Man, it's going down, man. Man, Boss Talk 101, we did it again, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.